back to my youtube channel if you're new here my name is ifoma i'm a fashion designer and a pattern dressmaker from the title i'm guessing you guys already know what this tutorial is going to be about and this is my beautiful client rocking this two-piece dress we made i'm going to show you guys the tutorial on how i made this skirt without further ado let's head right into this tutorial i started off with my fabric two yards of crepe one yard of um lining fabric and this is our pattern for our skirt basically we have a tutorial on this skirt pattern which is going to be in the description box below i'm going to leave the link in the description box below so do check that out because we're not going to be drafting this skirt pattern all over again So right now my main focus is cutting off our skirt pattern piece and as you can see we added our you know one inch for our side seam allowance and all of that you really really need to check out the pattern to the skirt tutorial it's pretty easy to draft and you could make a whole lot of type of skirt from this exact skirt pattern i i do not even really need to you know extend how much you really need to know how to draft the skirt pattern anyways moving forward once you're done cutting all of this we're going to be moving forward to cutting this on our fabric After placing all of this, you do not even need to add any sewing allowance because we already added everything we needed on our pattern piece. So all we are doing is just cutting our pattern piece. So the lining method we're going to be using is a half lining method where our um, lining is not going to be touching the hemline. When they say hemline, it's just basically the bottom of maybe your skirt, your gown, and all of that. So moving forward, we're going to be extending our that for our back um, pattern. And basically, I'm using my chalk to be able to extend all of that. And I extended that also on our lining. I also went ahead to label my piece so I know where is the zip and where's the top line and all of that also so once all of that is done i proceeded to pin in my dart in place so i pin also for the lining and for the back piece moving forward i went over to my sewing machine and i'm going to be stitching all my dart in place so i'm going to be stitching both for my lining and for my actual fabric which is a crepe fabric So once I was done with my dart, I proceeded to um, measuring out eight and a half inches. Um, that will be the length of the zip we're going to be adding to the skirt. So yes, I'm going to change the foot of my sewing machine to the zipper foot. Next up, I'm just basically joining my zip and remember our zip allowance is one inch so put that in mind when you're sewing this in place
done with that and this is basically what it looks like it's already looking so good So I proceeded to stitching our one inch allowance where we you know we're not going to be adding our zip or our zip is not going to be extending to so we're going to continue sewing this down but we left five inches which included our hemming seam allowance you know that would be our slit I'm just basically going to be joining our lining to our fabric and I started off by sewing from the zip so this is my own method of joining my lining to my skirt and you guys already know that this um, lining method we're using is not a full um, method of lining so this is just a half method of lining where the lining does not get to the hemming um, allowance like it's not going down to the hemline so once I'm done joining the zip part for the lining like so on one side I'm going to be repeating that same method on the other side Done with all of that, you should have something that looks like this. Your zip is all nice and clean and neat and all of that. I'm moving forward to cutting off the excess zip at the bottom. But first, I'm going to stitch, you know, just run a, a back and forth stitch. This is to help my zip not to like slip off or something like that. Then I proceeded to joining the front pattern to the back pattern piece. So I'm just going to be placing them right side facing each other and sewing at my sewing allowance which is one inch. And then you're just going to run a straight stitch. You're also going to repeat the same method for the lining once you're done stitching the actual dress fabric. You're going to, you know, Put your lining right side facing each other and sew on the wrong side of the fabric and voila your skirt will be ready in no time
skirt is already coming alive i'm just going to cut off the excess thread and moving forward to our band i already folded half of an inch on both sides i ironed sd also on the band this is to make my band firm the length of the band is five inches the length i'm going to be working in with five inches so i am just going to take this to my sewing machine the skirt is already coming alive guys i ironed that and ironed my hemming allowance i pinned that in place and basically the next thing for me to do is to weave the inside of the skirt so i'm just basically going to be weaving the inside of the outer skirt and the lining also Once you're done with all the weaving, um, I proceeded to um, hem in the bottom of the dress just before I joined my band. And basically, this is just how I hemmed this bottom of this dress. So I first of all stitch the side where we have the slits. And I'm basically going to be cutting that off with my scissors and flipping this inside out. It just make this thing look so nice and seamless and very very much professional and I'm going to be repeating the same step on the other side after all of that I'm just going to be running a straight stitch and basically just hemming our hemming allowance for the bottom of our skirts back to the band again so I left out 0.5 inches which is half of an inch from the starting point and I'm joining this right side of the band facing the wrong side of my skirt and I'm basically going to be stitching on my 0.5 inches um, sewing allowance so I think I failed to mention the length of this um, band. The length is actually your waist uh, measurement plus 3 inches. Once you're done with all of that, you should have excess like this. And basically, I am going to be moving forward to stitching at half of an inch over there and flipping this inside out you're going to see what i'm talking about first of all i'm going to cut off my thread and cut off the tip a bit just so when we're turning this it's not too bulky yes so this is where we're going to be attaching our um skirt hook to i'm going to turn this to the other side and remember that half of an inch we left out as our allowance we're going to be stitching that with a straight line like so just basically repeating the same step we did initially. So 
so after poking this with the help of my scissors i'm just going to flip this like so and i'm going to be running a top stitch very very close to the band line this is to join the piece together just to close up the um, band Our initial sketch is almost ready and this is what it looks like it's looking so nice and neat as it should so this is how i was able to achieve the length of my drip so i just basically use this tape in form of you know the actual dress I want to drape on this skirt so what I did after that was to cut a piece of fabric which is the length was 65 inches of length and um, 36 inches of width so that's how wide this um, particular piece is and the length could differ according to the skirt length you're working with so now I am basically going to be stitching at half of an inch, you know, the closing up all the edges of this particular, um, you know, our drape, let's just call it drape. So I stitch up to a point where I, you know, had to leave a space. This space will enable us to turn this inside out. So I just left about two inches you could leave out about three inches depending on your preference so i just continue to stitch this and once i'm done stitching all of this cut off any excess you're going to have and just snipe the tip a bit then you locate um your opening and turn this inside out The skirt was already looking so nice it just looked like something that just came out of the oven freshly baked you know anyways i proceeded to drape in and basically i already have a visual of what i want to achieve so i'm just going to be draping you know the strap we made on the skirt i actually feel like this part is actually self-explanatory so I'm sure you could, you know, grab one or two from what I'm doing. Once I was satisfied with my draping, I proceeded with my needle and thread, and I'm basically going to be stitching this together with the needle and thread. This was pretty hard to like poke in, but I was able to, you know, succeed. So you, you too, you can do it. <laughs> Thank you. 
once i'm done with all this hand stitch i'm basically going to be hand stitching this also to the skirts I went ahead to ensure that you know our thread is not poking out on the other side and continue hand stitching we're going to be repeating this same step on the other side once we're done with this i'm going in with my scissors and i'm just going to cut off my thread and yes we're going to be doing this other side now if you've watched this video up to this point and you're not yet subscribed i don't know i don't i don't just know Please subscribe to my youtube channel don't forget to like comment you know share your thoughts i really want to know what you think leave a suggestion you know on kind of content you want to see and click on the dumbbell so you get notified when i post a new video So this is me here sharing you guys you know some tip on how to avoid your slit from getting ripped or something so i use an elastic and i'm just basically going to be putting the elastic very close to the tip of our slit like so and i'm just going to be pinning that i also repeat the same step for the other side putting in an allowance of you know half of an inch or less if you can so i'm going to take this to my sewing machine and i'm going to sew the elastic to the skirts done stitching the elastic to the skirt um you guys are still i'm going to show you guys what it looks like but we need to close up the um opening from our drip so i'm going to be using this hemming gum for that so the hemming gum just help us you know close up the open seam moving forward this is actually what you know the elastic with the slits looks like and yes this helps us prevent the slits from ripping or tearing this is what the final project looks like and i'm sure you guys have seen this from the beginning and we've come to the end of this tutorial i made the shirt to complement the skirt comment down below and let me know if we killed this design it was won by Inidima Okoje and shout out to the initial designer thank you guys for watching